So, when you set timing on this thing, that it is imperative that this fast idle cam is all the way down. If the fast idle cam is up, RPM is up. If the fast idle cam is up, RPM is up, timing will be advanced. Manufacturers build in advance into the ICM. So even with the PCM and all advanced mechanisms out of the picture, if this is up during your performance final, the timing will be off by about 8 to 10 degrees. So here's the purpose of this. You need to get the fast idle cam to something called the lowest step. Right here, it's on the highest step because the engine's cold. To release it, there's a locking mechanism right over here. Pull the locking mechanism up with one hand, the other hand puts it on the lowest step. Now we're ready to check timing. So, one more time. It's on the lowest step. The car sits overnight. We have a device here called a thermostatic choke heater. The heater gets cold. It cools off and applies tension on this choke plate. There's a spring in here. Overnight it gets cold. When the customer gets in the car in the morning and hits the throttle, you'll notice fast idle cam came to the highest step. Choke plate closed. Let's do it one more time. Release. Lowest step. This would be when the engine's hot at operating temp. Car sits overnight. Car's cold. We need to restrict air so we get more fuel. Customer steps on the throttle and all by itself this tension and this choke thermostat pulls this up highest step. When adjusting timing, it is imperative to make sure that's at the lowest step. Now we're back to base idle.